Restrictions are easing up here in the city, with many of the mask and vaccine mandates officially lifting today. That's right, News 12's Katie Lusso is outside PS 184 on the Lower East Side in Manhattan with more on this story. Katie. Yeah, and we just heard from UFT President Michael Mulgrew, and he spent a lot of time emphasizing the importance of respecting every family's decision with this and whether or not they choose to have their child wear a mask to school. And many of the kids going into PS 184 this morning, we did not actually, we saw them wearing their masks into the school. So it'll be interesting to see how that turns out if they take their mask off inside of the classroom or not. But this is the first time that the decision to wear a mask officially went from required to optional for New York City public school kids grades K through 12. Again, they will no longer be required to keep their masks on inside of the classroom. However, face masks will continue to be required for kids under the age of five who are not yet eligible for the vaccine. And this is going to affect some pre K classes, all three K classes and many daycare and kid programs that are overseen by the city. The Department of Education says they plan to keep daily screenings in place to make sure anyone with symptoms does not return to school and they will continue to distribute test kits. Schools Chancellor David Banks says that cases are down 99% in the school system and that they actually haven't had to shut down a single school because of COVID since January. Meanwhile, indoor businesses like restaurants, gyms and theaters, they will no longer be required to ask customers for proof of a vaccine starting today. But if a business owner wants to, the city says, go right ahead and some mandates will stay in place like the vaccine requirement for city workers. But back here to schools, as for the future in terms of education, the UFT says they're hopeful that this is the start of the end of the pandemic mandates in schools. I am hoping that today proves to be a milestone day that we're finally near the end of this pandemic that has caused so much damage on behalf of the children and the staffs of New York City schools. And he says that they have had hundreds of meetings with doctors and meetings to look over the data before they made this decision. And he says they will continue to monitor the data to make sure that there doesn't seem to be an uptick in numbers and that they will be able to continue to have this mask requirement to be optional. He also says that the only way to get out of the pandemic is to have this little in between phase. So we will continue, of course, to bring you developments as we get them regarding this inside of New York City schools in the on the Lower East Side. I'm Katie Lusso, News 12.